Welcome to RichardBankerWebDesign.com. Today we're looking at Blogger, a Google blogging tool, very easy to use. Watch this tutorial, subscribe to the channel, let's get started. Welcome back. Right now we're looking at Blogger.com and uh, this website here is uh, richardbanker.blogspot.ca. I don't post anything on it so there's really nothing there. It's just created for the purpose of this tutorial and here you can see just a sample website or a sample blog post uh, with a title, an image, some headings, a video and a link. And we're just quickly going to go over how all that is put together. The first thing you'll do is you go to blogger.com and that'll take you to your Google account. You'll either have to sign in or create your own account. The nice thing about the Google accounts is they connect over YouTube, Picasa, uh, a bunch of other Google services so that you have you can draw from all these different places so don't be alarmed. It forces you to create a Gmail account as well. That's really not an issue as far as I'm concerned. You can look into it more if you want at uh, google.com. So once we get to this page, you can see I have this awesome blog right here. But if you just arriving for the first time, you're not going to see that. All you'll see is the new blog button. Here you can create the title. You can type in an address and see if it's available. You can see that Richard Bankard is not, but Richard Bankard 2 is, just in case you wanted to do that. Then you can choose a quick theme that best suits you. There's only seven to choose from at the start, but it'll get you going. So that's how you get going. Once you create your blog, then you'll be able to create a post for your blog. And we're just quickly going to go over that. Here you can see my main blog page. It's got an overview of how many people are visiting it, if there's any comments, and uh, all of a, a blogger guide as well where you can check things out. You can also see here posts, pages, comments, uh, your Google Plus account which was automatically created when you created your uh, Gmail account, the stats, any earnings if you have AdSense integrated, the layout, the template and, and different settings. So let's go to posts and we're going to take a look at this post that I created here called My Blog is Awesome. I'm quickly just going to show you how I did some of the most basic things in this blog. So you can see that our page has got one heading, followed by an image, a subheading, some text, bullet points, now the title of your blog is up here and it's just a matter of typing in this little spot. We'll change it to my blog is awesome, don't you know? To change your headings, you use this button, drop down button right here. You can change it to a subheading, a minor heading, or just normal text. So that's normal text. A heading is the largest, subheading is slightly smaller, and a minor heading is a little bit smaller than that. And they're just straight settings right from the start. It, al it also puts H1 tags around your text so that search engines know hey this is a heading, this is a major block. Also adding these, it's much easier for people to read. Seeing this is much easier to read than seeing this. Or just blocks and blocks of text. So please include headings. It makes it much easier for your users. The rest of these work much the same as Word. You can also change your text by using this and change your font using this right here. Moving on to the image. To add a second image or add a new image, let's say we delete this image, we don't want it in there anymore, and I'll click this button to add an image. This will open up. You can upload from your computer, choose files, 
you can say from this blog, so ones that you've previously uploaded, you can see I've already uploaded the piano picture. If you have Picasa, you can grab from your web albums, from your phone, your webcam, or from a URL. So we're going to add this image back in there. Once the image is loaded, you can say, do I want it to be small? Do I want it to be medium? The original size, do I want it to be on the left or the right? And all of these options are available just by clicking on the picture. We're going to leave it centered. We're going to add a little caption on the bottom. You can also add uh, an alt text, so My Piano Lessons, for example. So if someone is using a screen reader, it will tell them what the picture is about because if they can't see the picture themselves. So now also when I hover over it, you can see My Piano Lessons. To do bullet points, it's the same as in Word. We'll just use these two little guys right up here. Uh, you can also change the alignment and justification of everything. Down at the bottom, we also added a video here. We'll just delete that video and we'll re-add it using the little movie icon. I can click on this and then it opens up your, kind of the same as the images. You can choose a video to upload, just drag it there or you can choose from YouTube. You can type in a search or you can choose from your own YouTube. This is where so I'm going to choose this one that I have. Now it doesn't have the same options that uh, an image does when you click on it. However, you can choose to stick it on the left or the right just using the justification. At the bottom here, we added a link. I'm just going to delete that link. And let's, oops, let's add one that is, check this out. And we'll click on, we'll highlight, and then we'll click on link. Now it'll show the text to display. If all of a sudden you realize this doesn't make sense, you're, you can change it here. And then you just enter the URL. You can also test this link, which will open up a new browser, uh, a new little pop-up window, and it'll show you whether or not that link is uh, actually heading to the place you want it to. You can decide if you want it to open in a new window, if you want it to be a no-follow tag. Uh, you can also say, "I want it to be an email address," and uh, you can put in your email address. Uh, we're going to leave it for this. And if I do click on it. I do have the option of change or remove, which will reopen that. On the right hand side, you can see you have labels for each blog post, as well as the published and location and different options like that. Top right hand side, you can close it, which will close and not save. You can revert to a draft that you created. You can click preview and it'll open it up in a new browser window so you can see what it's going to look like before you actually publish it. And you can either hit publish if this is the first time or if you're editing something you can hit update. That will update your blog post. That's a quick, very quick overview of how to create a post on Blogger. Hope this has been helpful. Subscribe to my channel, please, and uh, stick back for more tutorials. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Have an awesome day.